So as you know, I like my fish and chips and the quest is on to find the best fish and chips in the UK. But before I guess I do that, I need to take a trip here to the world's largest fish and chip shop. Just look at the batter. Hearing that crunch, oh, that looks good. So this restaurant is absolutely massive. It starts there and goes all the way across. And there's this roof terrace where you can go and enjoy your fish and chips and check out Bournemouth Beach and the pier. There's also a takeaway option just here as well. A bit retro. Love the chandeliers. But we're going to be heading upstairs to eat in the main restaurant. Up the steps we go. Here we go, entrance to the world's biggest fish and chip restaurant. Cool, thank you. So just checking out the menu, obviously I'm going to go for um, fish and chips. I'm going to go for a small cod with some chips. Let's see what I get. That's really cool. So I can choose to have my fish battered or poached. I'm going to go for battered and of course mushy peas. So I've just placed my order on the app and um, what a view I've got overlooking Bournemouth Beach. Obviously everything I need sauce, mayo, salt and vinegar, I'm good to go. Wow, what a view. And do you know what? Apparently, if you eat your fish and chips with a really good view, like this, it's supposed to taste even better. I think Gordon Ramsay said that. Oh, you can't beat that smell, can you? Do you know what? I never know what to try first. Do I go in for the chips, the fish, or the mushy peas? I'm going to try the mushy peas, actually. To be fair, they're not overly that mushy, which I'm a little bit gutted about. In fact, I can see a large pea in there. It's still good. I'd prefer them to be more mushy though. Quick drizzle with the lemon, some vinegar, and of course some salt. A bit of uh, tartar sauce lashed all over it. I know you probably think I'm weird having all of that on it, but uh, it makes it taste so much better. Right, let's cut into it. Hearing that crunch when you cut through it, amazing. Cool, that looks good. I think that's right, you know, about eating it with a view because this tastes amazing. Try my combo though, bear lemon, salt vinegar, and then tartar sauce. You might think it's a weird combo, but it works. It kind of gives it a little bit of a kick. It's quite nice. Mm. This is so good. Now let's have a look at the texture of the fish. Nice and lean. I like it when it's really flaky, you know? When you pinch it like that and it just kind of like squishes away in your hand. Because you can get some fish that's quite dry. It's quite moist, I like that. But just talking about the batter, I know I've soaked this in a lot of stuff and people will be going, that's ruined it, but it's crispy. Just look at the batter. That batter is amazing. Mm. I'll get a drink later. Well, I'll tell you what, if I had to give that a score out of 10, I'd probably give it a nine. I wouldn't give it a 10, only because the chips let it down. As always, I have this problem with chips, where I like them to be obviously crunchy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. These feel like they've been cooked a while ago and then like refried. Don't know whether that's the case or not, but that's what they taste like to me. Almost like a little bit um, rubbery. So I kind of like them when they're ultra fresh. So fish amazing, chips and mushy peas, not so great. I'm gonna go for a dip. 
checking out the decor. Pretty grand. Love these kind of porthole mirrors. Checkered floor adds a bit of uh, nostalgia. So do the windows, actually. It's just the view you get out of them, which are totally amazing, onto the beach. Well, you can even get some Harry Ramsden's merch over here as well. Did you know they sell wine? No, neither did I. So that was, or that is, the world's biggest fish and chip restaurant. And like I say, if it wasn't for the mushy peas and the chips, I would give this place a solid 10 out of 10. Not only for its location, but also because, well, apparently it's the biggest in the world. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time.